Today, I got this really cool user oscillator. Let me install it into the NTS-1. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? NTS-1 Digital is not connected. If you cannot connect your NTS-1 in Windows, it might be because you have too many USB audio devices in your system. Let me show you how to fix it. So first of all, uh, you need to make sure uh, you've uh, installed the latest uh, NTS-1 Digital Kit uh, Core USB MIDI drivers for Windows. Right? So once you install that from the official website, so if you uh, search for Korg, you should be able to find some application says config um, your Korg driver or USB MIDI, right? But uh, this time we need to actually um, click the uninstall Korg USB MIDI device. Click yes. So here um, it is a utility tools where you can uninstall the Korg related um, USB audio devices. If you click next, you will see there is um, actually a list of all the USB audio devices in your computer. All right? So if you scroll down a bit, you will see, um, in my case, the Korg NTS-1 are actually uh, occupied in the MIDI 11. All right? So this is the fundamental problem. Uh, where <clears throat> if we open up the um, NTS-1 digital librarian, it won't find it, all right? So you have to make sure the um, NTS-1 is being installed at the top 10 um, somewhere in here. So how to fix that? Very easy. So uh, we're just gonna click the option over here. And we uncheck the delete Korg MIDI devices only because we do want to clear up some spaces in the top 10. All right? So don't worry about too much uh, of deleting those existing USB devices. For example, uh, let me just choose some, um, the last three, right? So it says USB audio devices, right? Um, probably is one, uh, some of my um, USB headset or something. But if we delete that right now, it won't hurt, right? Next time if you plug into your own USB devices, it will automatically install the driver. So uh, we just need to clear some rooms for the NTS-1 to be the top 10 uh, in this list, all right? So, um, okay, so I think by removing these three, it, it should um, make some room for the NTS-1. All right, so maybe this is my drum brute driver. Maybe I'll just remove that as well. So that, as you can see, I actually selected four um, MIDI devices that doesn't belong to the NTS-1, all right? Um, so let's also check the NTS-1 as well. So let's delete them all. So click next. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. Okay, so now we're finished, all right? So um, let's double check. Okay, so now the uh, Korg USB driver has detected the NTS-1 driver hasn't been installed yet, right? So let's just click install, okay? Because we just removed that previously, right? So by reinstall, um, so let's recheck uh, exactly where this NTS currently at the MIDI port. So if we uh, input Korg and select uninstall Korg USB MIDI device again, so click next, as you can see, um, now the NTS-1 uh, has been moved up into the top 10. In this case, MIDI 7. That's probably good enough, right? So we don't have to uninstall anything. We just basically use this uh, uninstall utility to check uh, exactly where this NTS-1 uh, is located in terms of the MIDI, all right? So let's click Cancel. Now, let's make sure the um, NTS-1 is connected to the computer uh, with the USB uh, cable. So let's start up. So it still shows the NTS-1 digital is not connected. Um, 
But what you can do actually, after click OK, is to click the option and the preference. All right. So once you click here, as you can see, there's a specify MIDI ports manually. All right. Because we changed the MIDI ports previously, it might still remember the ports that have already been deleted. That's part of the reason it could fail connecting your NTS-1. So now let's uh, check the specify MIDI ports manually option. Uh, so previously I didn't show you, but before, um, before the NTS-1 has been out of the top 10 MIDI ports, it, this list is empty. But after the fix, we can actually see there's actually the NTS-1 option available in both MIDI in and MIDI out. So now let's just select the only option within here and click OK. Now let's quit and start up again. Uh, finally, we connect the NTS-1 correctly. Uh, in Windows, right? Because you can see there's already some user oscillator showing up here. So that's the fix. So let's recap. So in order to fix the NTS-1 uh, connection problem in Windows, first of all, you need to make sure um, you have installed the NTS-1 uh, USB MIDI driver from the official Korg website. So secondly, I saw, I saw some strange issues while your USB cable isn't connected to the, um, directly to your computer USB port. So previously I uh, connect the USB port to some of my USB hub, which could sometimes cause the connection problem. So secondly, you need to make sure you always connect your NTS-1 through the USB uh, cable directly into your computer uh, USB socket. All right. So if you still can't uh, solve the connection issue, then uh, you can uh, try to use the Korg um, uninstall uh, device app to check whether um, your NTS-1 is actually at the top 10 uh, of the MIDI ports. So once you make sure the above three points, I'm pretty sure you can actually connect your NTS uh, in your Windows correctly. Okay. There you have it, the complete solution to fix your NTS-1 connection issue in Windows. If you find this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe my channel where I provide tips and tricks for synthesizer and live jamming now and then. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time.